So hey, if you like the video, press that like button. If you want to see more videos that, can subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Listen, guys, I own a Ryzen 5 5600G. I'm having really great time with it. I play any game. I only play Valorant, by the way. But if I decided to play any game else, I'll be okay, you know? But the only reason I wouldn't recommend you to go with the Ryzen 5 5600G right now is... AMD will release brand new CPUs or like a refresh version of some CPUs down the line somewhere in April. Hopefully it's not an April Fool's, but they have, you know, um, like launched that or give these news way before April. But yeah, one of these uh, CPUs or APUs that will be released is the Ryzen 5 4600G. It goes for $150. It's a six core 12 threaded CPU with a Vega 7 graphics card. And this is the same GPU that's on the Ryzen 5 5600G. Now, is there any benchmarks about the Ryzen 5 4600G, like leaks, for example, or anything like that? Actually, it's not leaks. There is an actual CPU that's pretty much the same goddamn CPU on the 4600G. It's called a Ryzen 5 4650G. Now, this is an APU that was on the pre-built OEM PCs like Dell, for example, HP. It's been used, but it's never been sold, you know, for the mainstream consumers. Only on a pre-built PC. So AMD decided to actually start selling that as, you know, a budget CPU independently. And when you look at the actual benchmarks of the Ryzen 5 4650G or 4600G, it's pretty much the same APU. You will not find any difference in gaming. The only big difference you'll find is in the FPS intensive games. And this is where the 5600G shines. If you decided to play games at 144 FPS locked, for example, a game like CSGO, a game like uh, Valorant, Fortnite maybe, but not 100% sure on that. But these games that don't require a GPU power horse, but only CPU, the 5600G will be different in like 20%. But does this justify the $80 difference or the $75 difference that you'll pay on a 5600G over a 4600G? <laughs> and the second thing is you can hook the 4600G up with a cheaper board than what you would hook the 5600G with. Like for example, there is an MSI A520 on board that goes for $60, which is Ryzen 4000 Series G ready. So $150 and a 60, that's 210. If you decide to get a Ryzen 5600G and a board that's compatible with it out of the box, it will cost somewhere around Dang, that's math, you know, $290. So we're looking at $80. So yeah, this is the only reason I would not recommend you to go with the 4600G right, uh, 5600G right now, sorry. Uh, but hey, that doesn't mean it's a bad APU at all. I'm just saying that you can get the same gaming performance in some GPU intensive games for the same price. And when it comes to the CPU intensive games, you'll not have the same performance, but the performance itself isn't bad. So hey, that's been it guys, if you liked the video, press the like button, if you want to see more videos of that kind, subscribe. It's been a long day, <laughs> see you in the next one, peace.